CM Punk will be inducted into the Ring of Honor Hall of Fame. The XFL and the NFL are joining forces. Jay White shocks fans that Impact Wrestling's No Surrender. The full lineup for the Ring of Honor inaugural Hall of Fame has officially been unveiled. Take a look. It was announced today that CM Punk has been inducted into the Ring of Honor Hall of Fame as the final member of the inaugural class. He now joins the rest of the Hall of Fame class, which includes the Briscoes, Jay and Mark Briscoe, Brian Danielson, and Samoa Joe. CM Punk made his ROH debut in 2002. During his time with the promotion, CM Punk held the Ring of Honor World Championship once and the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles twice. Both tag team title reigns came with Cole Cabana as the second City Saints. Before finally claiming the ROH World Championship from Austin Aries in 2005, Punk was unsuccessful in challenging for the title in a famous trilogy of matches against Samoa Joe in 2004. The first two of those matches were hour-long draws. The third saw Joe retain his title. However, CM Punk ended up defeating Austin Aries for the ROH title, which kicked off the Summer of Punk, a storyline that ended with CM Punk leaving ROH after he had signed with WWE. Alrighty, personally, I was super stoked when I saw that CM Punk was the final inductee into this inaugural Hall of Fame Ring of Honor class. And the reason for that is I got my start as a CM Punk fan when I discovered him on Ring of Honor. I recall watching his matches with Samoa Joe and just going down this like rabbit hole of videos of random CM Punk Ring of Honor matches. So when I saw his name on this list, I was like, hell yeah. A special Hall of Fame episode of Ring of Honor Wrestling featuring all the inductees will air on TV the weekend of March 5th. And now on to our next story. Turns out that the XFL and the NFL are going to be partnering together to focus on football innovation. Here is the story. Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Danny Garcia's XFL announced today that it is collaborating with the NFL on quote, select innovation programs to further expand the game of football and create increased opportunities for player development, both on and off the field. The collaboration is centered on learning and innovation within the area of player healthy and safety. The XFL will work with the NFL on quote, forward thinking physical and mental fitness programs for players, the study of playing surfaces and equipment and the sharing of game trends and data. Garcia, who is the chairwoman of the XFL and a co-owner of the league, told ESPN that the partnership isn't intended to put the XFL in position as a developmental league to the NFL. The league, which had first gone out of business in 2001, was revived by Vince McMahon in 2020, but its return season came to an end after five weeks following the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. The XFL will now return with a new season in 2023. But now let's go ahead and rewind a little bit because this was a busy weekend of wrestling and a major story unfolded on Impact Wrestling's No Surrender. So stop watching now if you do not want a spoiler of what happened on this show. It was during the Impact World Tag Team Championship match, the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, defeated Gorillas of Destiny, Tama Tonga and Tongaloa to retain the titles but they had a little help. The finish of the match occurred when Jay White came from behind and hit the Blade Runner on Tama Tonga, set up the Magic Killer by the brothers, and they retain. After the match, Jay White, Chris Bay, and the Good Brothers all too sweet together over Tama Tonga's body. What is going on? This was definitely unexpected, and I don't think any of us even expected it to happen on Impact Wrestling's No Surrender. Well, I can say that I'm certainly intrigued, not gonna lie, I have no idea where this story is headed, and who knows, maybe we'll see this play out in multiple locations, who knows? What is your theory? What is your prediction? Go ahead and let us know in the comments section below. Are you a fan of this or are you not? Let us know. On top of that, let's go ahead and give a shout out to some of our Wrestling Observer Newsletter Award winners. Congratulations to Ty Conti for Most Improved, Jade Cargill for Rookie of the Year, and Kenny Omega for US and Canada MVP, winner of the Luthez Ric Flair Wrestler of the Year, and Feud of the Year with Hangman Adam Page. 
You can check out the full list of the 2022 Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards over on F4WOnline.com. And I'm Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest, and I'll see you on the next video. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the latest interview with Kenny Omega.